Hey folks, Saksham this side from Ace IPM. The date for IP Mat Rotak is finally out. It will be held on May 20th, 2023 this year. In this video, we are going to have a look at the admissions notification and see if there's anything that has changed this year. So without any further ado, let's begin. So if you come on the website, the important date section is already updated and you can see it over here from the IPM page over here uh, in the subhead of important dates. However, in terms of admission notification, it is not available publicly in terms of any menu uh, listing. However, if you go to this direct link, which I'll also leave down in the description, you will get to know all the admission updates for this year. I've already highlighted something which is important for you to know or something that might have changed this year. So I'll just read it out for you and we'll have a discussion around that. In terms of your maximum age, that has to be 20 years of age as on June 30th, 2023. You cannot even be 20 years and one day older. So essentially, if to, you know, to make it simple for you, if you're born on or after July 1st, 2003, you are eligible for this exam. In terms of minimum percentage for 10th and 12th, that is 60% for all the categories and 55 for SC, ST and DAB categories. In terms of how do you calculate this, uh, you know, eligibility marks of 10th and 12th, you need to calculate it basis of the aggregate of the best five subjects, regardless of your board's regulation. Does not matter if your board asks you to consider all the subjects or best of four, three, five, you will have to take the best of five only. In terms of the dates for registration, registration should start in a couple of days from now, that is February 6th, and the forms will be open till April 10th. So that is till when you can fill out this form for IPMAT 2023. Uh, in terms of the date of the examination, as I mentioned earlier in the video, it will be held on May 20th, 2023, starting 9 a.m. in the morning. In terms of the examination, uh, you know, pattern, it remains the same uh, as of last year, which is 40 minutes each section and 40, min 40 questions each section. There's no sectional time limit, at least in the past few years, there hasn't been any. Uh, so we expect that this year also there won't be any sectional time limit. Uh, there's also no sectional cutoff either. You have 40 minutes each question, uh, each section. So that's quants, logical reasoning, verbal, 40, 40, 40. That comes to 120 questions in 120 minutes of time. Uh, each question carrying four marks uh, positive for every correct answer and minus one for every wrong answer. One change that has happened in terms of the pattern is if in case you're also applying for integrated program in law, which is also offered by IAM Rotak, you have the option to give IPMAT Rotak and alongside, you'll also have to, uh, you know, as, a, as an extension of this test, you'll also have one additional section of legal reasoning, which will have 20 minutes and 20 questions listed. So this, all of it forms part as a one single entrance, and that allows you to take admission in both IPM at, uh, like, uh, IPM at IM Rotak as well as IPL at IM Rotak. Another thing is that uh, even though COVID does not seem to be an issue anymore, but I am Rotak has chosen to continue with online interview rounds, uh, you know, just like last year. So in that case, your interviews, after you get a shortlist basis of the cutoffs that they might release, you will be called for these interviews and the announcement of the dates for these interviews would be in the first week of June and your interview will then be held in the second week of June. So between your, uh, you know, getting a call for interview to you actually giving interview, you roughly have about seven to day, 10 days of time to prepare for it. So that's, that's the usual standard as well, you know, with, which we have seen across last year as well. In terms of your final merit list, they have mentioned that the merit list will be generated basis of three components, past academics, which is your scores in 10th and 12th. Second comes your aptitude test, which is your IP Matt Rotak exam uh, scores. Third becomes your personal interview, which we have just talked about. Last year, what they did was they gave a, you know, an elaborate breakdown in terms of which component gets what percentage. So it was 45% uh, for entrance, 15% for interview, 20% for 10th and 20% for 12th. This year, that section has been eliminated. It is possible that they may update it uh, soon or it may, you know, they may continue with uh, what it was like in the last year as well. They might as well change it. As and when we have any information about that, we will be updating to you guys, so you don't have to worry about it. In terms of the final result, that will be out uh, on the first week of July, and your classes will then start in the first week of August. Now, one thing which has been a problem for a lot of people up until last year was the fact that uh, once you pay your IM Rotax first year fee, it's hard to get a refund from them, uh, and the deductions are like very absurd. So a lot of times what happens is people block their seat in IIM Rotak, they later get into let's say an IIM Indore, they want to switch. So they have to forego, you know, two, two and a half lakh rupees in this process just to shift a college. However, in this year's case, what they have mentioned is that in case a candidate withdraws before the in-campus or online registration, but after paying the first year program fee, uh, the five first year program fee will essentially be refunded after deducting processing charges as per the norm. 
over here, uh, you know, what is mentioned in the fourth point is that the processing charges are of rupees 1000. So I'm assuming in this case also, it will be just 1000 rupees and the rest of the amount will be refunded to you, uh, you know, which is a big relief for people who might, uh, you know, be keeping IAM Rotak as a backup and this, they somehow or like they, they just managed to get into IAM Indore as well or any other college of their liking. Uh, the academic session will begin on 1st of August, uh, first week of August in the year 2023. So that is over there. Another very important thing for you guys to know is that uh, the total seat matrix for this year is going to be 180. Ideally, it hovers between 150 and 200. This year, they have decided the number of total number of seats to be 180, basis of which your standard reservation norms will also apply. And that is it in terms of what we have in terms of the admission uh, handout. Uh, in terms of the summary of the dates, you can find it over here on the website as well. Uh, April 10th being your last date of filling out the form. Uh, we'll have a form filling video come out very soon as in when the form is also out. Uh, there will also be an IPM aptitude test which will happen on May 20th. Then in terms of your results, all of that, you know, the dates are already mentioned. You can have a look over here. So that's all I had to share with you guys about I am Rotak. If in case you're a fresher, I hope your preparation for boards is going fantastically well. If in case you are a dropper, however, uh, we recently launched our express batch uh, at SIPM on 1st of January. And in continuation to that, we will be having specific classes, live classes for dropper students starting from February 16th, which will help you expedite your IPMAT preparation and make sure that you land up in one of these IIMs, possibly I am indoor. So in that case, you can also join it up. I will leave down the brochure for the same in the description as well. And you can book a free counseling session on our website uh, to get enrolled for the same course. That being said, I hope you found the video helpful. Do the usual like, share, subscribe and I'll see you in another one. Till then, stay safe, take care, all the best and bye-bye.